title of Miss Ohio USA 2019. Alice Magato is newly crowned. She's a Seton High School graduate and lives in Hyde Park and goes to the University of Cincinnati. And Alice was kind enough to come in and chat with us this morning. It's great to see you. Congratulations Thank you. again. Thank you. It was wonderful to see you crowned uh, as I got to host the Miss yes. Ohio USA pageant. Uh, and some people may recognize your face or your name because you've been Miss Ohio before. Yes, I competed in the America system two years ago now. What made you want to do this again and go for Miss Ohio USA? Yeah, so I actually won Miss Ohio America at the age of 18. It was the third pageant I had competed in. And I have really just fallen, fallen in love with pageants since then, and I knew that wasn't going to be the last one I did. I had the amazing opportunity to actually work backstage at Miss USA this past year with one of the makeup sponsors, and being backstage and seeing how it all operated, I just totally fell in love with the system. And the Confidently Beautiful is very mm. close to my heart and relates to the message that I want to spread. So well, I think a lot of people have a misconception about pageants in general, mm -hmm. and, and certainly about the, the Miss USA system. Um, I've been hosting it for for a number of years, and I'm always struck by the transformation in the young women and the confidence that they have. Yes. Uh, what would you like people to know about pageants and about being Miss Ohio? So obviously swimsuit is kind of in the headlines right sure. now and is being talked about. And I was actually asked in my interview, you know, how, how do you feel about swimsuit as a pageant girl? Do you have to explain it a lot? And I always tell them competing in swimsuit is a celebration because I did not gr grow up with a ton of confidence and didn't have the confidence overnight to walk on stage in a swimsuit and it was something that I had to learn and grow and develop and I worked hard for it and so being able to celebrate that confidence and walk on stage and just celebrate confidence in general is very important to me and you know that's the empowerment of pageantry it's not it's not just being on stage in a pretty dress. It's mm -hmm. so much more that happens the months or years prior to competing. Well, so you went to Seton, and I, I was reading that. I know that you were in the show choir, and you yes. were in uh, the plays and musicals. But you also were in a club, uh, a confidence club. Yes. Tell me how that helped you. Yeah, so um, it was all about just doing things, because it was an all-girls school. Mm -hmm. So we would do little things around campus just to help self-esteem. We would write on the mirrors, because you know you walk into the bathroom and you're like, oh my gosh, like, do I really look like this? But we would cover up the mirrors completely because it doesn't matter, especially at an all girls school where you're there to learn and you're there to have fun with your friends. And that was one going to Seton obvious, honestly helped my confidence so much because I didn't have to put on makeup every day for school yeah. and, you know, was just there being myself and making friends through that and was in such an empowering environment because Seton, they're, they're just the best. They so know. so uh, when is Miss USA? When can we watch you so, and, and tell me about yeah. that, the message you're going to be spreading for young women? It'll be, I believe, in May, around mm -hmm. May. The date's not official yet, but my whole campaign is called Keeping It Real and um, I always am wanting to fight for authenticity in the media, but also just realizing that when you look at someone's social media, you're only seeing 10% of mm -hmm. their life. It's the best parts and it's not sustainable to live like that every single day. So it's okay to not be this image of perfection every single day. It happens. I have my days too, where I don't want anything to do with Instagram, anything to do with social media. It's okay to take a break and to just recalibrate and be yourself. Well, and you're a great role model for, you. for other young women. Alice Magato, thank you so, thank much. You so much. Best of luck at Miss, oh, uh, Miss, Miss Ohio, <laughs> at Miss USA. Thank we'll all be you. pulling for you.